landscape or look for all the places where Ooh, I poke holes. Another hole. few of our bean plants either didn't come up or came up and got eaten by something. So this morning the girls and I are just replacing some of those little bean sprouts with new seeds and hopefully they will come up and be strong. We definitely have massive weeds where we are. Um, a lot of them are from roots, from trees that are sprouting these crazy spiky weeds. Um, so we have to get some kind of hoe. Brandon keeps calling it a hula hoe or a stirrup hoe. We have to invest in one of those this week too to get these weeds under control. And I think we're gonna take these little baby trees that are behind us, I think we're gonna take them down this weekend too. So that we just have more space. Eventually, our dream is to garden all the way down, to move the RV and just create a huge garden in this whole area. Um, I debate and go back and forth on whether I want it to be pasture or garden, but we need a lot of garden space to feed this crew. Something is getting the top of my onions. I have lost so many this season and I'm so frustrated. I think it's bunnies and it's because we don't have a fence but I'm gonna try and salvage this one. See if we can make something out of it. Our potatoes are flowering and the cicadas are singing. It's summer. We bought a bale of straw to put down over the bottom of the potatoes and I keep debating whether I'm going to weed first or just cover the weeds with the straw. <laughs> because like I said, we don't have a, a hoe to hoe all these weeds and that's a lot of hand weeding. Lazy? Maybe. Maybe I'm a lazy gardener. cleaning up our potato beds a little bit. They got a little weedy and we are going to mulch them with a bale of straw that I picked up at co-op. They were out for a couple weeks and I finally grabbed one. So better late than never, we are gonna mulch these potatoes. And you don't need the rake gums, you just grab a chunk and you lay it down on the... Watch out girls. This stuff right here you can use to tie your tomatoes to. Yep. Brandon cut those trees down, that little cluster of trees down today, and just about killed my beans. We're hoping to get the rest of that cleared up. We're gonna have the kids drag those branches into a mulch pile, and then we will either let them dry out and then burn them, or we will mulch them into wood chips. What do you think? I don't know. You wanna eat it? I'm not gonna take a bite out of it right now, but. It smells like dirt, it's yummy. Our first China Rose Radish. We used this Joby's weed fabric that we got at Tractor Supply for the first time ever this year, and um, 
We told you guys we'd give you a review on it. We are about a month in to our garden and it is legit falling apart. Anytime a kiddo runs and trips on it or drops something or even when we're kneeling and we twist, it rips because it's getting baked by the sun and so it's just it's just getting really um, papery and just really thin and we researched a little bit more and it's not really used for the purpose that we're using it. We're using it like you would um, weed fabric from Grower Solutions or a bigger, um, a bigger company, a bigger greenhouse type company. Um, it's not that thick. It's not this. It's not a comparable product. This Joby's weed fabric is supposed to be an underlayment to something else. So an underlayment to mulch or straw or gravel even. And it would work awesome in a flower bed situation or a small herb garden or something like that where you're going to put mulch on top of it, which is not what you do with the weed barrier from Grower Solution. That weed barrier is more like a plastic mesh and it's breathable. This is almost fabric-y. It's like almost, um, it's like a fabric paper type material. I don't know how, any other way to explain it, but um, it is definitely meant to be covered up, whereas Grower Solution fabric or that other thicker weed barrier is meant to hold its own for years and years and years. So we, although this has been a blessing and I'm so grateful my boys bought it for me for Mother's Day, we will not be using it again. It's, it's a good deal if you're gonna use it for, like I said, a weed garden or something really small where you can throw wood chips on top of it um, to preserve it. But um, we need it for a big space and we need it to last a long time. So in the future, we're gonna be saving our pennies for a lot of weed barrier from Grower Solution or another company, a, a friend of mine, sent me the link to another company that sells it. So we might be getting it from a different company, but we're definitely getting the hardier, heavier duty, reusable weed fabric next time. garden today and one of the ways that we conserve water is by taking showers at the camp we used to park at. They are so sweet and they let us shower all the girls at once which saves a lot of water and actually it saves a ton of time for me because I can throw them all in one of the big shower stalls and just assembly line it. Wash their hair, wash their bodies, and dry them off and pass them off to Brandon to help me get them dressed. For a large family that lives in an RV that is super handy and efficient for us is to um, get them all showered at once at the camp shower. It's, we use the handicap stall so it's huge and we all fit in there so I can scrub all the girls down all at the same time. We may and may not eat and created the mental justification and legal gymnastics to launch the current drug war. A government that can tell you not to drink can prohibit raw milk. In the name of protecting you, it can demand that you vaccinate your kids or give a certain orthodox drug regimen to your autistic child. I warn my Christian friends to be extremely careful about what they become righteously indignant about. When we demand... What do you got, Bird? It's a ladybug. Mom, why they got ladybug? Oh, maybe they're bug. All these little girls are cleaned up and tired out, so we are gonna take them home and tuck them in. <laughs> it's like a ladybug. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate you guys following along, and we will see you on the next one. Uh, uh, yeah, we